And after all that, it is done. Fast forward a week. It's been a little bit of time since Noah and his crew at Contile Industries finished up the pad. It looks awesome. And there's just a few features about the pad that I wanna walk you through before wrapping up this video. In terms of the pad specs, you're looking at the finished 32 width by 24 depth, which is awesome. Such a big improvement from the last pad. And it's got a perimeter curb that runs all the way around. That's that elevated part. It's six inches wide because there's gonna be two by six framing on this building. But something that's gonna make this really strong, other than all the 12 inch tied rebar, is that on the outside edge from a foot in, it's just pure concrete all the way down. I'm throwing it up on the screen right now as best as I can for a shot that I could find. There is crush rock that only goes to about a foot away from the outer edge of the forms. That's why when Noah was pouring the cement, and here's a shot of him doing that, he was pouring all concrete out on the edges. That's kind of cool because there's concrete that's wrapped around all the crush. Sometimes you see pads, old garage pads, and there's rocks kind of spilling out and visible on the sides. But in this case, the pad has actually enclosed all the crush base within it. Otherwise, there is some great slope. You can see it's higher on the upper edges here, lower on the bottom to promote drainage of water. It's another basic feature that the old garage didn't have. And there's a few relief cuts cut into it as well. So there's actually six sections here. And that'll just promote any cracking that the pad might want to do to go to those areas. Finally, in this spot over here, throwing it up on the screen right now, there are two pink squares. Those squares are roughly right here. It's six inches away from the edge and they go three feet by three feet. And then there's another one sort of right here. And that's me future planning for a lift. So this pad is four and a quarter inches thick, but in those two spots, it is six inches thick. I requested that to happen so that pretty much any lift um, can be anchored into the floor here with enough stability that I don't really need to worry about the exact specs of the lift right now. I haven't seen too many lifts online that need anchoring beyond six inches. So that is it for the pad and most of the framing package is already here and that's where we'll pick up next time. Over the next video, you'll see a building emerge. Thanks for watching.